Hey guys, I'm recording off a whim, so I just want to apologize for maybe the choppiness or any shoddiness of this video. Um, and I don't even know if this is going to be released, and if it is, then, uh, you know, we'll, so we'll end up seeing what happens, I guess, right? I, I'm Again, I'm not sure if this will be released. So, long story short, I wanted to possibly record something to put out um, talking about the legend himself from VinWiki, the guy whose voice was described as honey over gravel, the unfortunate passing of the legendary Rob Rabbit Pitts, and this hit home for me. Um, I just wanted to talk about how he impacted my life despite me never actually getting to meet him, you know, just a random fan of both him and of VinWiki on the internet, you know. Um... I remember when I first discovered VinWiki, obviously the first person for me that I discovered was Ed, and then from there you get into a few other storytellers, but I think the major one that was second right after Ed was Rabbit himself. I think it was either the Carmax story, where he um, had pills falling out of that uh, Explorer, or it was the one that was his uh, first best first day selling cars. And ever since I watched those two stories, I was hooked because there was something about the way that he told stories that was such a, I don't know, it was so in, in cap, it was so captivating to listen to him talk. Um, the way he told stories, you just wanted to know what was going to happen. And for me, um, another part about him that I just enjoyed when he told the stories is he was very relatable. Um, just a very simple guy, and I know that they tell you that, you know, some, a lot of people, or most people who appear on camera don't appear, or don't act the same as they do outside, you know, and off camera, but from what I've heard is that Rob was basically the same person on camera as he was just in person, and that was wonderful to hear, and even though I never got to meet him in person, just like many other people have said, I just felt like I knew this guy for years, right? Like, I, I feel like this is the type of guy that I don't even drink, and I would want to sit down and have a beer with this man and just talk, right, um, about cars, about life. It just seemed like he had a grip on everything. He had such, you know, like a lot of the other people have said who were, you know, who knew him, who, you know, who met him, who talked to him, who were friends with him. He just had this thing of being so like laid back, right? He was just so laid back. It seemed to me too. He just kind of took life by the horns and just, you know, a day at a time, a step at a time, whatever was in his way at that moment, he was just like, yeah, we'll take care of that whenever or something along those lines, but we'll take care of it and we'll do it well, right? And so the part for me that also just hits home a lot is I went to SEMA last year. If you guys know, um, there is a video that I put out on my channel. I'm not going to I'm not going to plug it, but I just wanted to say that there's a video on my channel that talks about my experience at SEMA last year uh, because I ended up going because they offered the SEMA Fest thing. Right. And I remember walking through. I can't remember what section I, I, I can't off the life of me. I think. It was either lifts or tires or suspension section. Um, it was one of those sections if you guys went to SEMA last year. Um, it was the one section where they had a bunch of those, like, it was like a raised area and they had a bunch of lifted trucks and they had, there was that, like, snakeskin Supra there. There was a few other cars. There was a, there was a bunch of Supras. There was, um, there was a few Lexuses, but there was a ton of lifted trucks there ton of to pick up trucks i can't remember that section but i remember being over in that section and just checking my phone uh looking at all of the people that were there you know seeing you know what you know personalities might have been there that i could possibly meet and one person that i missed by like a grand total of like probably like minutes was rob uh mr rabbit himself and i was so sad because i was like oh man uh, i was so close to meeting him i was i actually ended up looking for a few minutes to see if i ended up you know could catch him and i ended up just you know missing him by a beat you know because they like i remember someone posted a story and they had posted it like 10 minutes ago i was like oh i was literally right there like 10 minutes ago uh that sucks maybe i could have met him uh maybe i can just peruse for a little bit and see if he happens to still be around now, unfortunately he wasn't but i remember thinking to myself at that moment i was like oh um if i go next year i'll more than likely just be able to meet him next year which is this year and unfortunately obviously that won't come to fruition 
and I don't think for me personally where I live that I'd, you know, be able to make it to his funeral, um, even though I'd absolutely love to. If I lived even just an hour, hour and a half away from where he was, I would be there instantly, right? I would, I would, I would absolutely go there and celebrate the life of Rob Rabbit Pitts. But at the end of the day, you know, it's just it's just such a heartbreaking loss. And it's like I know he said, don't be sad for him and everything, but it's hard, man. You know, even though I never met this man, just like so many people have mentioned it, I already mentioned this. video, It just felt like I knew him forever. He's just so relatable, such a simple guy who lived every car guy's dream. Right. Um, and I just want to say that, you know, rest in peace, rabbit. We love you and. You'll never be forgotten, good sir. Um, I hope that everyone who didn't get to meet you, I hope you're hearing their voices now. And I know that you're looking down at least smiling at all of the outpouring of love and support that we've got. You know, my condolences to you, uh, to your family, uh, to the family in general. Uh, I hope that they're able to get through this. Uh, and I hope the support from the VinWiki channel and others uh, really helps them get through. So, again, Rabbit, we love you. You will be sorely missed, but never forgotten. You will forever live on through the stories that you told and the impact that you left on people's lives. See you on the other side, Rabbit. <laughs>